My assistant Keith. Today we're exploring molecular gastronomy. That's when our love of food meets science. That's right. Today we're going to be doing something called reverse spherification. Basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking mango juice that we added a chemical compound to uh, which is all natural. It's calcium lactate <sighs> and what we're going to be doing is going to go into a bath of distilled water with sodium alginate in it and it causes a membrane reaction that surrounds the sphere of juice and you can actually after it gets rinsed off it'll actually it's it's almost like a, a ravioli without the wrapper um, just to, you know just that little bit and we're going to show you how it looks like I have some larger ones frozen that are going to make larger you know globs you know globes of these uh, of this juice. If you want to do that, you have to make one, you have to wait for one day. Yeah, because we had to put these in, you, you mix it with the with the chemical and then you, we froze it, so you had to wait several hours. Um, now the water is distilled water and we had to mix it with um, sodium alginate. It's hard to remember all these chemicals. Um, that we had to let sit overnight for 24 hours to make sure all the bubbles get out and everything like that. But we're going to get this going and we're going to show you how easy it is and it's kind of cool and we're going to look into maybe doing some other scientific you know, molecular gastronomy stuff. So we'll be back in a second. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your immersion blender and get the distilled water spinning at a good pace before you start adding your sodium alginate in. You're going to want to add it a little bit at a time, but you want to make sure that you keep this blender going until it's fully, fully dissolved. You're going to need to have to let this rest because you're going to generate a lot of bubbles. I mean, unless you use maybe a deeper vessel, which I probably should have done. Then you could cover, cover it with cellophane, put it in the refrigerator. I did mine overnight to make sure there were no bubbles at all in it. And then we can move on to the mango juice. Now, we add the calcium lactate into the mango juice. It's not as detrimental to use the immersion blender, so a whisk is fine for this, and you don't really have to let it sit for a long period of time before you start using it. So we just give that a quick mix after we uh, add that in there, and we can start pouring it in the mold or into a little squeeze bottle. Now we're gonna start getting that into the mold because we wanna have this freeze. It's gonna take a couple hours for it to freeze pretty solid. So you just fill them right up to the top. You can get these silicone molds right on Amazon pretty easy I'll put a link in the description below once your solution is rested you can see it's clear of bubbles and your mango is frozen it's time to start having fun um, what you're going to want to do is all you have to do is drop this into the solution you could do a couple at a time the big important thing is that they're not touching if they touch they tend to stick to each other and then when you try and pry them apart one of the membranes will tear and you'll have just juice floating in the water or even outside the water depending on where you decide to pull it apart all right, well, while Keith puts the rest of the mango ice cubes into the solution, I just wanted to let you know that I'm doing the, the rinsing in two stages. I have two bowls of water next to it. They're just plain water. There's nothing else in them. Um, after the uh, time that these, what look like egg yolks, uh, but they're actually mango juice, honestly, um, you know, are set, we're going to put them in, put them into the first bowl to rinse it off that solution, and then we can move them into the second bowl, and then they're pretty much ready to eat. I mean, you can just pop them in your mouth or, you know, use them on... Uh, pastries or whatever uh, you want to do if you want to make fancy desserts um, but I'll use a slotted spoon be careful you don't want them to touch because if they touch while they're setting they're gonna stick together and you're gonna have conjointed globes of mango juice um, again you can use any kind of juice you want um, this time we're doing mango juice which like I said is dangerously close to looking like egg yolks so I may want to uh, use a different juice next time but um, it's I'm finding it very entertaining and my son is loving it because he loves science so I highly recommend this because it's a lot of fun and it's something really really different all right so now we have our you know mango spheres basically in their first rinse we're going to move into the second one and then we're going to move over over into a vessel that we can kind of 
you store them in. And what you're going to want to do is um, you can you can use water um, if you if it's short term storage. Um, but what I would recommend to do is store it in the juice of what you're making. Um, and I'll explain that later on because these membranes are permeable. What that means is the fluid will be able to pass in and out. So if you put them in, a, in water and store them in water, you're going to basically be watering down the inside of the spheres. Now, you don't have to do the frozen method. You could put them in a squeeze bottle um, or pour the solution um, in, with, in with a spoon very gently. Um, I put it in a squeeze bottle. You put the tip very close to the water and you just squeeze it gently and you can make any size globe you want. Um, sorry, sphere, globe, same thing. Um, and what you'll do is, again, you just, you know, don't want them to touch, especially while after their first setting. Um, and once you start mixing them, you can tell that they're starting to get ready. At least this is what I'm noticing is that they'll sink to the bottom um, when the membrane is formed. But again, on this, you don't want them to touch, um, which later on you'll see making these little ones um, that some of them didn't make it. Because uh, when I tried separating them, they just kind of tore the membrane apart. Now these smaller ones you can go about 30 seconds as well. We, we finished up the 30 seconds and then we're going to start getting them rinsed off. Uh, the reason I'm showing you the second rinse of the smaller ones is because I wanted to show you exactly kind of what happens when they touch each other during the formation of the membrane. Um, they just they just stick together and you got to try and fight to get them apart and you can see that things are just tearing. There's mango juice guts floating all in the water and everything and uh there it is just the, the remains let's give it its last rites and then off to the sink for disposal all right welcome back guys you saw how we formed the balls how we let them soak for about 30 seconds the longer they're in there the thicker the membrane that gets created so like on a larger ball you want to leave it in there a little bit longer because it's going to have more you know liquid to hold to hold into a, a single globe um you can put these like on a top, top top of a piece of cheesecake or something like that. Get creative. Uh, you know, for, for this, we just put them on these little tapas spoons oh, so with a cute. little colored sugar and a little whipped cream. Go ahead. Can I eat one? Of course. Okay, sir. It's great. It's a, it's, it's a little bit of an odd sensation and then it pops and you get that you know, run of the juice into your, onto your palate. Um, you could do this with any kind of juice. I've also uh, read that you could do it with gravy, with olive oil. Um, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the different ones because this is actually, it's pretty cool. I mean, can you make a mango sauce to put on top of it? Yeah, but that's boring, everybody's done that. If you wanna make a bunch of these and store them, I suggest you store them in a juice of the same kind or a similar juice because that membrane is permeable. What that means is if you just put it in water, some water is going to seep in and it's going to water down the juice um, and also some of the juice is going to leave. So it won't be as flavorful as when you first made them. Now to the adults, drop these into a jar of vodka or your favorite spirit and you're going to make adult spheres. Okay. Um, do it with orange juice, drop them in vodka, you have little screwdriver balls. Uh, reverse spherification, molecular gastronomy. It was a lot of fun. Did you enjoy yourself? Uh-huh. All right, cool. Well, we're going to uh, eat some mango globes, and uh, we'll catch you next time on the way we're gourmands. All the directions and the links to how you can get these products to make the spheres are going to be in the description below. Don't forget to like and, like and subscribe. See you next time on the way we're going on.